sand in the harbor entrance. Look out, fish, here we come. Splash down! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Santa Barbara Harbor. Santa Barbara Landshark hasn't needed to take a page out of the Jaws movie to carve its way out of the sand-filled Santa Barbara Harbor entrance. I felt it when we're kind of going over some of the sand. It's a boat on the ocean. It has wheels when it's on land. Here at the harbor entrance, a sand buildup has made it only passable for a few vessels that aren't very deep, like the land shark. The harbor here had actually interfered with that natural flow of sand, so we've been having to deal with this ever since the harbor was built. The delayed dredging has made the sandbar a blockade for other vessels. On the sand spit, those bigger birds over there are... After a city tour, the land shark makes a splash with visitors by showing some of the coastal treasures around a buoy that attracts harbor seals and sea lions. It also goes around Stern's Wharf, then offers a special look at the American Riviera, all without getting stuck in the sand. Harbor Patrol and the Coast Guard have both done a good job of being out there to help us through and make sure that the people that have a shallow enough depth can't actually get through the harbor. The vessel has a depth gauge, but Captain Mike is also using his experience and buoys as guides. As the land shark re-enters the harbor, it stays to the left of this red buoy. Now the depth at times is only six feet deep and the land shark goes down about five feet. But the tides are not always so friendly. This week has actually been a little bit more challenging because uh, the lowest tides that we've had so far this week have been the last couple of days with zero. And uh, they pretty much come at right at the times I'm entering the water for my uh, two or my 12 o'clock tours. The only thing stops us is severe weather like rain. Uh, but this is perfect, you know, no problem. And Milo and the crew have been telling some of the guests and visitors all about this whole Sandy Harbor entrance blockade that's been going on. But they tell them as they go by the dredge. Let's take a look over to the Santa Barbara Harbor. You do see a little bit of movement there now. You see some of the outriggers and a couple of vessels are moving through. And on the far end of the shot is the dredge. And keep an eye on that. We understand once it starts up, and apparently a part has arrived today, it'll have to dredge itself out first because it's surrounded by sand. Then it'll move out to the harbor entrance, and then it'll start punching a hole through to let some of those larger vessels out that have been waiting so long to get back out on the seas, especially the commercial fishermen. And the next Tuesday, a cruise ship arrives. At the Santa Barbara waterfront this evening, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, big job ahead. Thank you, John. The debate over car 